The Hatters golf team facing Central Bucks East in the first home match of the season. The boys and girls team will play the first nine holes at Tallymore Country Club with a 69.8 slope and a 140 rating. The low team score will determine the winner. Up first for the Hatters is senior Tom Fisher on the first tee. And he hooks the ball into the left rough just by that sand trap. Tough start for Tom. And his partner is Jacob Molnar, a sophomore. And Jacob drives the ball. Looks like it's right in the middle of the fairway. Good shot, Jacob. Fisher now putting for his par. And that's a real nice putt for par. First hole is 420 yards. CB East player Matt DeJong putting for his par, but doesn't make it. Him and his partner will bogey the first hole for CB East. Now on the 360 yard, second hole, second shot for Matt DeJong. And he hits a terrific shot. Oh, about 15 feet from the pin. He'll have a birdie opportunity there. Sophomore Jacob Molner lines up his second shot. Looks like a wedge. About 100 yards out. And his ball oh, lands about 10 feet from the pin. An excellent birdie opportunity awaits him. Molner now lining up that birdie putt. It's about 10 to 12 feet, a little bit downhill. And he unfortunately keeps it right, pushes it right. He will make that for par. John for his birdie, and he misses that. He'll hit that in for par. And both teams are all square after two holes. Now on to the short 340 yard par four on the third hole. Fisher's second shot, just under 100 yards in. And his wedge shot goes about 20 feet from the pin just behind it. Excellent chance for another birdie. Jacob Mulder just off the green for his fourth shot. He struggled a little bit on this hole. And he makes a good chip this time, and he'll tap that in for his bogey. Fisher for another birdie opportunity here. It's not easy. It's going downhill a little bit, and he keeps it right, but he will put that in for par, and the teams are all square after three holes. Now on to the 150-yard par three fourth hole. Tom Fisher on the tee, and his shot is looking real nice as it lands about 20 feet from the pin and rolls up a little bit, he'll have a pretty good opportunity for another birdie. Fisher now trying to capitalize on that good shot with a birdie opportunity here. It looks good, but oh, put the brakes on it. Just fell short of the hole and he'll have to settle for another par. And Jacob Molner here in the 530 yard par five, his third shot out of the rough. And he puts it on the green. He's about 25 feet away from the pin. Pretty good shot. Now senior Tom Fisher. He's less than 100 yards away with a wedge. And the ball lands about one foot from the pin, but doesn't check up for him. He'll have a challenging putt for a birdie. Molnar now putting for his birdie. He's a good ways away and hits it a little bit too hard ball doesn't come down and he's got about three feet for his par which he does make. Fisher putting which is perhaps his best opportunity for a birdie so far not only about eight feet but just slides it right he'll have to settle for yet another par. We now move to the 420 yard par four six hole Tom Fisher his second shot and it lands very close to the pin spins back He'll have about 8 to 10 feet for his birdie putt. Fisher lining his putt up. It's a 
night stroke. Will it get there? Oh, it will not again. He leaves another port, uh, putt short. He'll tap that in for his par, and he remains one over for the match. He moves to the seventh hole. Second shot by Tom Fisher. It's a 365-yard par four. It's a water hazard to the right side of your screen. Fisher, ooh, flirts with it, but he's safely on. He'll have an uphill putt for a birdie. Fisher now attempting his putt uphill, trying to get that elusive birdie for today. And oh, he just leaves it short like so many others today. He's stroking the ball very well, uh, but the ball just can't find a cup. And he strokes that in for his par. Now we move to the 290 yard par four, ninth hole. Fisher, his second shot. Trying to get that elusive birdie, and he uh, hits another great chip shot. He's about 15 feet from the pin, and hopefully he can uh, still get in for his birdie. Fisher putting for his birdie, and oh, just misses again. It's been like that all day for him. He wound up parring the hole and ending up with a 36 for the day. His partner, Jacob Molner, would shoot a 48-13 over par. Tom Fisher would end up with the low score today with 36, and Kyle Cost from Central Bucks East would have a score of 40 to lead his team. I hit the ball pretty good. I think I made eight pars and a bogey on two. Um, I think I left all my putts short. Uh, dead center of the hole for the most part. I mean, I didn't think I put it bad. I was just missing the putts, so I guess some days it just goes that way. I guess you can't really complain. We have a lot of young, young, well not young, but I mean like people that just haven't really played varsity, and I think that as the season progresses, nerves will get a little less, you know, nervous, and uh, I think, I think, I think we could do pretty good this year. Also playing this year are eight girls who have enough bodies to field their own team, a large number compared to most seasons. People just uh, asked other people to play and they seemed interested so, in the sport. So, Yeah, it was cool that it's our second year and we've already picked up a bunch of people and they all seem pretty willing to do it. So I'm excited for them to get into it just as much as we are. Yeah. I played okay. I mean, I just wanted to make par, so I thought that would be fun to finish it out, and I didn't really intend to make it, but that was cool. Well, it was a fun day uh, for both the girls and the boys. However, CB East ended up winning the match by a score of 212 to 217.